All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Windbreaker episode nine. Last episode was fantastic. We had Sakura versus Togame. Um, it was very, very good fight all the way throughout. It kind of had like sections of the fight. Um, we got to like fully kind of see how Togame actually is. His exact reason as to why he is like he is with his group um and uh by the end of it he was kind of a different person to be honest or potentially a different person depending on the outcome of shoji versus uh umemiya um but yeah i understand i mean his methods were still brutal but i understand him more as a character now and i respect him more um he seems like a sweet character he was definitely sweet in the past so uh yeah, very excited for this episode though. We got a little preview of how Choji versus Umiya was going to go in the last part of the episode. Last episode. So, very much looking forward to that. As always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Is Umiya actually gotten serious now? Or? Oh, he is. He's actually fighting now. Yeah, he's landed some hits on Shoji as well. It seems kind of equal so far. Well, from the looks of it. Holy shit. I don't think anything less than, like, shooting this kid would get him to, like, go down, though. Oh, shit. Get his ass. Oh. Your fists have no way? For real? Because you have no friends! I don't know. He's fighting for freedom. Quote unquote. I don't- I still don't know if Umemi is going all out, like... I think he's still trying to prove a point to this kid. Oh my god, that's like... That's like murder. <laughs> Holy shit! Is he in a coma? It's, are you getting off from that? There's something wrong with this kid. Oh my god. Yeah, honestly, he's just a bit bruised up. Ain't no biggie. Choji is just... freaking out. The fact that Umemiya has the level of control to like still try and talk this- talk it out with this kid and try to get through with him, like he is strong as shit, clearly. And their group's never going to be the same after this. After witnessing this. It's just sad. Oh my god. <laughs> or nearly put his nose right through the back of his head. Umamiya has to be holding back. Did he just rip his hair out? Oh my god. Yeah, someone needs to... Someone needs to get this kid enlisted in some kind of mental hospital. He's not okay. Are we actually going to get his backstory for why he's like this? Or did he really just snap one day? He's, he's, so he's depressed. Oh, he's fully losing it. This is sad. Oh my god. He's still eating these. That's a lot of blood, though. I, I don't. I really. I don't get why he's eating these punches. He gets it though. He still looks barely beat up. He could still talk through this. Fuck. What the fuck? It's an animal! He's trying to rip his throat out! How are you so calm? Any person that has the ability to bite into someone's neck like that needs to be locked up. What happened to this? This is... This is nice! Look at them all smiling, beating each other up. Damn, bro. This is not how I was expecting this fight to go, but I, I think I should have seen this outcome. They're there, child. They're there. 
Wait, did he hug him? Oh, is he gonna headbutt him? <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> yeah. This, this is how you talk with your fists. Damn. That was not how I was expecting the episode to start. Oh, you can see the glint in his eyes again. Or is it, no, this is back in the day. He needs to go back to this. This is when he was happy. He just, he has this false idea of what happiness should be, which is strength. When this is what he needed. What if he just died right there? And this is just the afterlife. What in the Kingdom Hearts is happening right now? Rest in peace. Oh, he's alive. I don't know how any of these people are surviving these injuries, not gonna lie. Your face should at least be very swollen. Yeah, you did. So return to that. Come on, bro. Yeah, I mean, it was still... Like, everybody would have hated him for what he did. Because he would have done it in just a psychopathic way. Oh, we're trying to put the pieces back together? Oh. And what if you just slugged him there and then? What could have been? But if you didn't, like I said, if, you, if he didn't take it away, it showed you would have pushed them away by doing what he would have done. Bro's looking for the One Piece, that's crazy. It's all about the adventure along the way. Wasn't that great? It was empty. Yeah. To your friends? To your co-leader? Your closest friend? All well and good to say that though. Like, obviously he's just very broken. Which is why he couldn't reach out. I feel like Togami should take over their group. Damn. That was cool. Yeah, he really was the glue that held this shit together. This is deep as hell, bro. Oh, his eyes are back to normal. Welcome back, emotions. Everybody just sitting in the audience like, oh. Oh, y'all are alive. That guy's face should be pulverized. What is everybody built out of in this anime? You shouldn't be able to stand. Y'all should be in a hospital. He's taking off his jacket. Why would he want that? Yeah. Fuck that, he's already got too many people to manage. For real? <laughs> oh, what a good leader. Yeah? Two rival guns, just being friends now? Okay. Did y'all have fun? Getting r your face bashed in? Was that fun? Not how I was expecting this episode to go, but yeah. I see why people want to follow this guy. Umemi is style. Wow. Wow, that was like five minutes! Holy shit, that went quick. Right, so that was Windbreaker episode nine. God, after the kind of brutalness and just like absolute going at it in the last episode, I was expecting more of a like a fight out to see how like strong Umemi was. And yes, we did see that, how strong Mimir was, because he was eating those, having a full-blown full, full blown kind of motivational conversation right there, whilst getting his fucking face it should have been caved in. But um, yeah, uh, I guess it'll be a little while before we see, if we even do Mimir go in absolutely serious mode. I, I dread to think what would actually cause that. But um, yeah, he seems like a very respectful guy. He's clearly a leader for the re for a reason. He's funny. He's like, ah, oh, fuck that. I don't want to manage your group, but that's too much, too much of a pain in the ass. Ah, well, um, very good episode. Choji's back to normal. 
Uh, it's it's the good outcome. Um, it's nice having this kind of rivalry team still, but now they're more on a kind of friends uh, kind of kind of wavelength, I guess. How they were in the past, uh, they'd fight each other and be like, "Oh, that was cool. See you later. Uh, same time next week," kind of thing. But yeah, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.